Hello, my name is Jaden Salus, and today I will be introducing to you the free fall drop races. This is a very popular race over the world, and we have prepared for you today seven different contestants that shall be competing for number one by seeing who will travel the fastest in their free fall air drop race. It has a very long name, so I'll just, uh, over to you, Carl. Oh, f thanks, Johnny. So, uh, today we have our first contestant, the, uh, large ball. He is a very big contestant. Not, he's the, he's the largest of the ball section. He isn't the most aerodynamic because his large size is a large opportunity for... Lots of friction within the air, and this does tend to slow him down and not always give him the best of results. Well, let's go over to the racetrack. Yes, so there we have uh, the large ball with a time of 1.75 seconds in 9 meters, and that puts him in with a speed of 5.14 meters per second. It's fast, but we all know this is the airdrop races, so anything can happen. Yes, now on to our second contestant. Here we have Medium. He doesn't like being referred to as a ball because, as you can see, he is not entirely round, and he does want everyone to know that. Medium here is made out of a styrofoam-type substance, and he is very light, even though he is only slightly smaller in size to the large ball. Now, this is quite a surprise here, but we have found out that medium actually took longer to finish the track than large. We suspect this because since he has such little bass, it was a lot easier for him to break his course and move off track, therefore creating a larger distance to travel. This is the law of inertia that is occurring and that states that an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted on by an unbalanced force and an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted on by an unbalanced force. But now medium here was traveling in a straight direction but it, as you see it was quite a windy day. So the winds were an unbalanced force, creating medium to accelerate by sp speeding up and slowing down and moving left and right to change his track. So this is why we believe that he has come at such, such a large time. Here, you can see him in action. So... Another law of physics was also occurring here, and in fact it is also uh, one of Newton's laws. And it is Newton's second law, which states that the larger an object's mass, the more acceleration is required, and the more net force is required to create this object to move. But now you see, medium here is very light, so it does not require much force to create him to to allow unbalanced forces, sorry, to change his path and stop him from competing and coming in first with the other competitors. Well, thank you there, John. I'm uh, on to our uh, third contestant. Well, here we have our third contestant, Smallball. Now, Smallball here, he is quite a champion in the uh, fall sky drop racing. He has such a small size that with such a small face and area the amount of air pushing against him is decreased because there is more open room around him than for the other contestants when you are comparing them to small ball they are much larger and they do have more space and more opportunity for friction, so this is why small ball does have a faster time than medium ball. But now the thing is that it's another baffling fact: small ball does act was actually slower than large ball, 
And we think that this, what was happening with him, was the same thing that was happening with Medium. For he was made out of a, re of a relatively similar substance. And we believe that Newton's first and second law was again acting upon him with all the winds occurring with, his, with all these unbalanced forces around him. It caused him to, while falling down, move left and right, therefore creating a larger path than instead of just going straight and leading him to triumph. Well, uh, thank, thank you, uh, Carl. Um, we'll uh, back on to our... Uh, Fourth contestant. Okay, Johnny, let's go. Also, uh, Carl, don't for, don't forget to mention his speed. Oh, oh yes, Johnny. Uh, th thank you. Sorry. Um. Uh. Oh yes. Small ball came in at a speed of four point nine seven meters per second, with the time of only one point eight one seconds, which is quite fast. But still, this is the airdrop races, we do still know anything can happen. Ah uh, yes, here we are with our fourth and fifth contestants. We have very crumpled piece of paper and not so crumpled piece of paper. Well now you see, these two brothers have been racing together for quite a long while. But now you see, very crumpled piece of paper has had a better career and record than not so crumpled piece of paper. Because we find that what is happening with very crumpled piece of paper is the same thing that was happening with small ball. But now you see, medium crumple and very crumple, they were exactly the same sizes before, before they were in their freak accidents creating them to crumple. But now you see, very crumpled has been so compacted that with such a little area, the air that would be hitting and creating friction with medium crumpled of, crumple of paper would be larger than with very crumpled piece of paper. Because with such small size and, and area, it is able to, in a way, slip under the radar and maneuver its way through the winds and all, all the unbalanced forces. Which, and, allows, and this allows it to come up with quite a good speed, and as we did predict, medium crumple did come up with a speed of 3.34 meters per second, where very crumpled came in with an outstanding um, speed of 5.14 meters per second. We are very proud of these twins. Here, you can see them in action, and you and notice that there was, um, uh, sorry, uh, innocent bystander there, uh, almost being hit. But don't worry, folks, he turned out fine. But you can see by watching both videos that medium crumpled paper is actually floating around and does actually even hit the side of the wall, creating it to, to even have even larger amounts of friction, which slows it down amazingly. And here on our left we have small crumpled, very crumpled piece of paper. As you can see, it just has a straight path going through fast and efficiently. Ah uh, yes, so here we have a um, piece of paper. He was a uh, scrap piece of paper, but he was no, not so successful in having a large speed in the airdrop fall races. For you see, he has such a large area. He is so, so large that he almost has all the, that almost all the other Objects and contestants combined create only only come close to his size With such a large piece of paper and on such a large windy day this Piece of paper was going flying back and forth and back and forth Without actually reaching the finish line for a long 9.56 seconds now this is very disappointing to all the paper fans and many people believe that he does not live up to the uh, paper section a uh, um, destiny and cannot fulfill the footsteps of his crumpled brothers. Here you can see him in action and notice how he is flying back and forth and taking a very long time to reach the finish.
Yes, piece of paper did not have the smoothest of rise, and we are disappointed to tell that he did come in last place with a speed of only 0 0.94 meters per second. We're sorry. Here we have the champion of the airdrop races. He has finished and won today's races. He is the one, the only pencil. That's right, the pencil. He with such a slim and slick and amazing design, he is able to slip through the defenses and, and all the the hard winds coming against him who just rub up against him, but with his, he, he stays straight and he cuts through all the unbalanced forces, creating an entirely straight path for himself with very, very little air resistance. He has come in first with a speed, a very short time of 1.25 seconds and a speed of 7.2 meters per second. This is Noon's third law not at work, for he was not at all had his path altered. He just went straight, and he, he kept in motion through the whole way through, from top to bottom, and this is why he was such a successful contestant in the airdrop races. Well, folks, that's all for, um, air, airfall drop, um, racing, and we hope to see you again next time. But here is the final scorecard. Sorry, it is not from first to last. You will just have to recognize and notice how Pencil is still amazing. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, have a nice day. Um, uh, we hope to see you again at Airdrop Fall Sky Races.